Now, when you think about bespoke, or at least when I think about bespoke, I think of some like insanely beautiful Savile Rose suit, something that I would have to sell my apartment for and mortgage my liver. But I'm thinking about this in the wrong way. I mean, bespoke just means, it means tailor-made for a particular person, for a particular user. And that's, that's what I want to talk about today. So, so this whole thing got started when Seth of Adams of Yorkshire reached out to me. Now, now Seth is, is a young guy, he's got a passion for leathercraft. And I'll say, yeah, I'll say now that definitely he's got, he's got a talent for leathercraft as well. And he asked if he could send something along for, for me to do a video and, and do a review on it. The conversation basically went like this. So Seth was like, can I send you something? Then I was like, sure, what do you have? And Seth was like, what do you want? Then I was like, hmm, interesting. So you see, I found this picture, this picture, when I was lurking around the webs somewhere. And I was really digging the way the guy was wearing the belt. The problem is that I couldn't find a belt that long and in a decent quality. And even if I did, well, I'd have to, I'd have to get it and then I'd have to put a few more holes in it. And that's not so much of a problem. I just find that it can look, it would look a little bit sloppy like that. And so yeah, well, Adams of Yorkshire to the rescue. And so I was speaking to Seth and I was like, yeah, um, so just looking at this, I guess I want it, well, super long, obviously. I want it in black, probably like a little bit narrower than your usual like big, thick lumber sexual belts that you see these days. And probably not such a thick leather either. So I can actually knot it like it is in this picture shown. Now, Here's the thing when buying bespoke. Listen to the maker. You might have your assumptions about how the material, whatever it might be, how it's gonna act and how it's gonna bed in. But the thing is, the guy who's making it, he's got the experience, he's got the knowledge. So when Seth said to me, he's like, listen dude, I think you should make it out of slightly thicker leather and actually keep it quite wide. And so I said, yeah, for sure, let, let's do that. And you know what? He was absolutely 100% right. Now the leather's had a little bit of time to bed in. I'm left with a belt that's perfectly proportional and it just sits, well, it sits exactly like it should. If I'd had my way, I'd be left with this narrow floppy thing hanging around my crotch. And we all know there's only room for one of those. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, yeah, nice belt, Matt, but um, bet it costs you an arm and a leg. Well, right, okay, full disclosure, as I said at the beginning of the video, um, Seth did send me this belt for me to do a review on it. But if you want a belt exactly like this one, same length, same hardware, same leather, it's gonna cost you the grand old price of 40 bucks. That's right, 40, 40, 40 bucks. And really for, for something of, of this quality, that's, that's not bad in the slightest. And that's the point I want to make here. There are some amazing craftsmen out there doing some incredible products. And, in like, and so in a wide variety of disciplines. And so if you reach out to them and if you have an idea of exactly what you want, they will work with you to, to bring that idea into reality. And my bet, my, my, my experience in this is it's going to cost you a lot less than you think to get this bespoke item. I mean, if you don't ask, you're not gonna get, right? So there's a couple of things that I think are important to point out here when buying bespoke or when you're buying, when you're buying from a maker. See, when, when you're buying something that's being crafted, you're supporting whatever that craft might be. And that is super, super important, especially in this day and age of, of mass manufacture and just churning out the same thing over and over again. Craftsmanship tends to get left behind and if we don't support these things, they're gonna die out. You're also, you're investing in a product that's gonna last. I mean, at least in the case of this kind of thing, when it comes to a craftsman that's making leather products, you have that expectation of longevity and wearing well. And therefore you're kind of, you're entering into a relationship with this maker. Not in the kind of way that we're gonna have like gondolas going down the canals in Venice, but I, I trust Seth to, to make a very good leather product. And so I've already ordered my second piece from him. 
It's going to be a knife sheath. Now, lastly, this isn't a mass manufactured product. This is something that's made one at a time. That means that the, the leather, the animal hide that went into making that belt, it, it can be made into a wide variety of other products. That means that there's, there's less chance of waste. And this is just a very, very sustainable way to, to manufacture and, and is a very, very sustainable way to shop as well. Guys, jump over to Seth's Instagram. I've left a link in the description below and just drop him a DM. Start a discussion with him with whatever you have in mind. I'm, I'm confident he's gonna be up to the task. And yeah, if I see like a, a string of like long ass belts out there, well, okay, you saw it here first, but you heard it here first. Guys, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. And if you did, it'd be awesome if you could hit that subscribe button if you're not already. Uh, next to that, there's the bell notification icon. Uh, if you hit that, you're gonna get notified whenever I drop a video. Um, along with Seth's Instagram down below, you're gonna find the link to all our social media and all the other good stuff. And yeah, guys, I hope you're out there taking care of yourselves and hope you're taking care of each other. And I'm gonna see you in the next vlog.